just helps, helps with a little bit of elegance to the line. It also serrates the edges, so the edges can fold in a little bit. It also it doesn't push the hair as you press it. Okay, you, a little teasing in there? Yeah. Yeah, I've done it. So I think like what Pierre's sharing with you there, definitely we're um, starting to work out a little more with longer hair, with bigger hair as well. Um, starting to introduce that into the equation, so it's nice to see a little bit of length. I think that sort of idea of sort of strength internally is a more structured internal shape and something softer, looser, floatier on the edge is very indicative of, uh, of where we are with longer hair too. Alright, so I've started pointing into the top here. Uh, again, you know, we really have worked hard to be as technical as we can when we create these, uh, these nice clean lines here, but you know, pointing into it does add a little bit of softness and I think today um, all of that blood that we see on the street has to be on the softer side. Um, I think it can have strong lines, but sort of internally, maybe a little bit of softness helps. Um, but again, you have to watch how much you overdo it. Uh, it can change quite a bit if you're not careful. So we've got color in here. I want to expose that just a little bit. So it be covered by the black still, but just set over that way. Uh, so again, using the, just the tip of my scissors to point into the very end. I think that should work. Uh, further back, I was working a little bit deeper again, just to get more of that uh, kind of serrated feel to uh, not just the ends, but the, the texture of it. Okay, so just.